You can see this outdoor mini split air conditioner which has six wiring connections. Which are L, N, S, 2N, 1L, and W. But if I see the indoor unit, it has four wiring connections. So how to connect four wiring connections with six outdoor wiring connections in a mini split unit? So this video is going to be really important. Now I have opened the control board from the unit and brought it to the workshop as it has a problem with it. Let's understand how these connections are made. And why the company has adopted this new format? As I also didn't know why the company had made this type of wiring connection. What is the logic behind it? So I will have to understand it and make you understand too. On the line and neutral terminals, the main electricity will be installed. Coming from the breaker or the plug. Now I will follow these wires to find out what logic the company has tried to make. The two main wires, the line and the neutral wires are passing from the back and then connected with the terminal. The black wire is connected with 2N, and the red is connected with 1L. And this red wire is connected separately with W. Now I will follow the W terminal wire. This red wire from the W terminal is connected to the control board with LN and with the fuse. If I see the terminal of the outdoor control board, the 2N has two black wires attached to it. See, the one wire is this one, and the other is on the back side. Let's see where are both these black wires connected. The black wire is connected to the control board. The S terminal is simply for the communication wire. The new wire in this control board is the W wire, that why the company has given this terminal in this system. Now I will check the indoor control board wires. This will make it easy to understand this system. You can see four terminals are given. S is the communication wire. 2N is the neutral terminal for the indoor unit, and the black wire is attached to the indoor control board with NN. The next is 1L. When I follow the red wire, it is attached to the common relay point. The W wire is white in color on the indoor control board. And it is connected to the relay output. So if you don't understand these connections, let me explain it on the whiteboard. I have made the indoor control board and an outdoor control board on the right side. The indoor connector and the outdoor connector. This is the main plug that I am making, and I have written the line and neutral on the plug. The neutral from the plug is connected with the N on the outdoor control board. The line wire from the plug will be attached to the L on the outdoor control board. I have rearranged the terminal number sequence of the connector for your convenience. The neutral is attached to the 2N. And the same neutral is then attached with the neutral in on the control board. These wiring connections have been completed. The next connection is for the line terminal. The line wire then connects with the 1L. The S or the signal wire is attached to the signal connector on the control board. The W is attached to the fuse. The main logic of this wiring is in the indoor control board. What will happen that the 2N will be connected with the 2N on the indoor control board? The S will be connected to the S. W will be connected with the W. 1L will be connected with the 1L. The company has made this line wire connected to the indoor control board. How? The line wire is connected with the L. Then with the 1L. The 1L is connected with the 1L in the indoor control board. The indoor 1L is connected with the common of the relay. This supply is also moved towards the further control board. The relay will switch, and after switching. The 4 number connection in the relay is the output, which will be connected with W. This is how the connections are completed. The S will attach with the S in the indoor control board and neutral with the neutral. What we saw is that the line goes to the 1L. The 1L is connected with the 1L of the indoor. Then the common wire on the relay is the third number wire. The switching occurred, and the relay got connected with each other internally. The electricity will pass over here when the relay is joined from inside. And the outdoor unit will turn on. This means that the outdoor control board could not turn on without the permission of the indoor control board, and this is its main logic. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch our next videos and subscribe. It's free. Thank you.